Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to the top 10 most skilled hockey players of all time. So, let's see who are these top 10 players. But before you do so, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on what you see next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's see who are those chosen 10. Pavel Datsyuk, of course, he's number one. Oh, number 10. Pavel Datsyuk. Datsyuk in on goal, oh. and he does it again! Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, he's in number 10. Oh my god. You know, the minute you see Pavel Datsyuk, you, you marvel at his skill level. Here's That's Datsyuk, cool. I don't know Datsyuk shoots, scores! Datsyuk has the ability to not only see what's in front of him, but what's coming from behind him. Datsyuk, a beautiful That's move! That's crazy, Datsyuk! incredible ability to handle the puck and change directions and he was amazing man to this day i think he's the most skilled player that i have ever seen so far he was amazing i think players that play against him now know you can't run him you're just going to bounce off of him once or twice a game he would just go through the entire team you know i grew up playing hockey i you know my father's bobby hall where does this guy grow up and learn to do these things in the clear all alone but how easy number 10 though your highlight reel, bank. Yaramir Yager. Really? He was like a Mario, only left-handed shot Mario. He was a monster physically. There was so much pure strength to his. Wait a minute. How is Yager more skilled than Datsyuk? I, I don't. Man, I don't understand. I thought Datsyuk was supposed to be number one. I have reacted to Yager too, but like Datsyuk, I remember him to be so good, so good. I don't understand. It was literally unstoppable. Yager on the right wing hooks from behind. With interference by McLean, but he gets to the net. Yager scores! He's a lot like Lemieux in the sense that... Um, 2,857 points. But the fact they were 6'4", six, 6'4 four, six, four and a half, they had that extra reach. He didn't really impress you with his stick handling, but all of a oh, sudden... Oh, time in goals. You know, stick handle around wow. three guys and score a goal. Yager, moving. Yager, look at the move. Again, Yager! Yeah, Yager was amazing. I think he just went back to the NHL. You know, 15 feet on this side of the body, and the next thing you know, it's 15 feet on the other side of the body. Yager moves in with speed. Yager to the net. He scores! Yager playing it back inside his feet. Oh! <laughs> what a play by Yager! The goal that really stands out for Yarmir Yager is in the 92 Stanley Cup Final. Yager intercepted. He ended up putting it through Brent Sutter's feet. Hangs on to it. Then he went in and he deep two or three more guys. He makes some really good players look pretty bad. I remember this. Good move, another good move. He's in, scores. Yeah, I remember goal. this goal. Yager. I have reacted to his top 10 goals. He's a phenomenal player. Pavel I don't know him. Very dynamic with his speed. Oh, um, his speed. Pavel Bure. I think it's a video about him. Literally, two days ago. Literally, he is so good, man. I was even asking the comments, how is that this guy is not in the top? He was the type of player that could electrify the fans every time he touched the puck. Top players of the nature. Also, Paul's because that guy is... The only player I can go... That I can't see go against that So, I was speaking my body about that. In terms of uh, skills, I think the only guy that I can see be better than that took maybe it's Pavel Bure. That guy was amazing. I did a video about him two days ago. When he turned the corner on you or decided he was gone, uh, adios. Crown ahead for Bure. Bure going in. He scores. Every time he touched the puck, the crowd was electric. Bure works back to the point, still controlling it, moving into the slot, uh -huh. trying to go to his point. He is good. He tried different things that guys have never tried before. Pavel Burry, shorthanded, breakaway, score! Now we're all going to want to watch this replay. It's those types of things that other people watch and learn from. Exciting player to watch. Denny Savard. He was like a little water bug, you know, almost. I don't think like I haven't seen this one yet. Makes the move. Around, Yo, look lead. at how he's stunned. He was like a water bug. He was quick. Crowd loves it. Savard moves around and oh. Score! He did. Uh, it was a natural thing to do. He'd get it on his stick, and you could just hear everybody. I gotta check this guy out. I haven't seen his videos. Something. 
great might happen. Skates through center. Right Look how he's tries to put his stick down and uh, Savard just puts it underneath him. I remember jumping over the boards, watching the last 15 seconds of it in amazement. Kent Nielsen. Skill-wise, he might have been the most. Okay, I don't know these guys either. Kent Nelson. I'm gonna, after the video, I'm gonna take a paper, wrote all their names, so I can go back to them and react to them individually. If you know, if you do have any highlights about them that is good, please put them down in the comments below. I know the first three. I know that Suke have reacted to one video about him. I've done two videos about uh, Yagre. And then Bure, I've done one video about him too, I think. Skilled hockey player I ever saw in my entire career. And my favorite. Really? Skill-wise, he might have been the most skilled hockey player I ever saw in my entire career. Oh man, that says a lot. When you have the goal, when you have Wayne Gretzky saying that you may be the most skilled player that he's ever seen. That says a lot about the guy. I gotta check him out. Rear. And my favorite uh, line from my father was, Kent Nielsen can uh, stop on a dime and give you a change. So uh, he had unbelievable skills. He had a, a dimension to him. It's, uh hard to find in the game today. Oh. Kent had sheer speed and quick quick hands and stick handling. Probably one of the most talented guys that I've ever seen dance with a puck. Oh. Uh, he could do things with the puck of uh, speed uh, that other guys couldn't quite do in that day and era. Puck skill, um, shot, size. When he wanted the puck, it was his oh. puck. A couple of sequences stand out. He was challenged by the producer, you've heard the story, uh, to see if he could hit a crossbar from center ice and there were five mm -hmm. pucks and he hit it with the first puck and skated off the ice. Aiming for the crossbar. No I don't way. want to put any extra pressure on But he is ready. <laughs> no way. Gilbert Perrault. The thing about Perrault was he had that speed, that extra gear that not a lot of guys had. He was an amazing, amazing Wait, is this player. another guy? Because the, the video didn't change. I'm still on the same, uh, within the same name. Big and strong. It's sort of like Mario Lemieux before there was Mario Lemieux. Like his goals were just highlight real goals. Kind of a mixture of a Savard and a, and a Bure. You know, he was such a great skater, uh, way ahead of his time. Yeah, I don't, I don't decent on this one either. Uh, he had some slick moves like uh, Denny Savard did as well, and that's uh, he was one of my favorite players growing up. Pro was one of those electrifying players where he took the puck from you know behind the net, and when he started to go, uh, you know, he was shifty, wind up, he could basically go through the whole team and score a pretty goal. A lot of defensemen uh, were caught swimming across the ice trying to get to him because he just dragged it forever, and they think they got have him, they think they have him, and they just can't get to him. It's just a great lateral movement. He had the great moves and he could go from side to side, but uh, because of those bow legs, I think it gave him the opportunity to uh, sidle left or right, to almost at a whim. The speed, the way he could attack with speed and the bow legs and just his strength on the puck and how he can make things happen. He would turn no. defensemen so easily because he could accelerate from a standing still position. Just an amazingly gifted player. Alex Kovalev. Kovalev, just a magician with the puck. The most talented player I. I ever played with, bar none. I, I can't even think any. I don't know any of this guy. He must be Russian. He was the one guy um, that probably uh, skill-wise could go through an entire team, go back and then go do it again. With incredible skill. Uh, that man could do things that I had never seen before. Up there with Vladimir Vutek, 19. Probably the best hands, you know, just to do tricks and to play and do a one on one after practice. He's one of those guys in practice. Yo, he you know. watch the things that he does. One on one. He Yo. has tremendous abilities. Three on two across the line. Kovalev fakes. Base move on Kasparadis. Scores! A really elusive player. Uh, he can control the puck in real tight cords and very, very powerful man. Here's Global, I'm shooting, he scores! Guys, where have you been hiding this guy? I've been asking for videos to react to for hockey players that I don't know to know. When I saw the first three names, I thought, okay, that's good. 
I'm good in hockey now. I know Yagre, I know Datsyuk, I know Bure. And then since then, I don't know any of these guys. And this guy is amazing, man. Alex Kovalev. This guy's good. Alexi Kovalev will rock it over the right shoulder of Grant Fuhrer. Boy, can he stick him? We got him hiding. He decides he's just going to let that wrist shot go. He can fire it with the best of them, but uh, he's got some sweet hands, I'll tell you that. Wayne Gretzky. Uh, he was born to be the greatest player. That he's not even number one. That's he crazy. The most elite skill player that the game has had to this point. What made me a player that, that I was was to rely on my speed and my intelligence. He was the worst stick in hockey, and he had one of the best shots in hockey. I think one of the things in my career that I was a little bit underrated at was that you know, if there was a loose puck, I was going to get to it. Breakaway pass to Gretzky. Greg Levy trying to catch him. Can't! Gretzky scores! You couldn't just watch Gretzky. You had to know what was going on all over the ice. So if Curry was over here behind you, you had to know that or you were toast. He'd throw a pass across the ice to nobody. There's nobody there except Yari Curry. Oh man, that is Lionel Messi. That's Lionel Messi in football. I don't know what to tell you, but I've seen Messi doing passes and everybody's like, oh, and then they see the other player coming, which is crazy. What the heck? It's right on the tape. You could argue whether or not you were as fast or as strong or your shot was as hard and yet he was just a pure genius on the ice he looked at the puck in the air looked around at the net spun around in the air he and batted the puck he's literally and missing man into the top corner of the net after having seen the puck up in the air looking to check where the net was spinning around and that's how you i've seen missy walk him so like you see him walk during the game Looking at this, looking at that, looking left and right. This is Lionel Messi. I mean, it's just something you just smile and you shake your head. He would see uh -huh. people and find people on the ice that nobody else would see. And you wouldn't even know yeah. that they were open until they, until he, he would deliver the puck there. Nobody saw the, the ice better than Gretzky. His vision was remarkable. I really just followed Bobby Clark and patterned myself after what he did. And that's how I started playing behind the net. My rest of my career was played a lot you know, from the corners and, and from behind the net. Wow. We were in Montreal. It was in, in overtime, and I went in front of the net, and he was behind the net. He was the, the player that was the most patient behind the net, and I literally looked at him, and I said, wait. Like, I gave him the finger up. I went all the way outside the zone, outside the blue line, and I came right back down the middle, and he waited till I came all the way back. He gave it to me. I put it in the net, and it was overtime. We went. We were in the locker room. I never forgot that because I... What player would actually have the presence to see the other dummy going, you yeah, wait for me, I'll be right back. It was like wow. a chess master that, you know, you might know how to play chess. You might know how to move the pawn like I know how to move the pawn. But I know what's going to happen 15 moves ahead, and you only know what's going to happen one move ahead. I think genius is the perfect word for it. Wow. Bobby Orr. The line, and he's going deep on Lysiak, and he goes behind the net. Hustle! Is he uh, Canadian or American? Getting daylight up through center ice. Actually, it doesn't matter because the, the league is the same. Game, shot kicked out. Another shot. Great set. No! Just an incredible, talented player that changed your game uh, for, for the defense from that position. Being able to dominate the game like he did from the back end like he did was just phenomenal. He revolutionized the game because he was so far superior in all the skill levels that uh, any other D at that time had. Bobby Orr's got it as he's doing a... A bit of fancy stick handling between the two blue lines. Just sitting on the bench and watching this guy dominate on the ice. I mean, he could take his speed to whatever level he had to be faster than the, the guy trying to chase him. To try to penetrate. Harris, he does. He's in. He cuts in front. He scores! Such a nice, fluent way that he played. End-to-end uh, -end rushes. And so talented. Could skate like the wind. Well, the fact that he revolutionized the position is is just remarkable to me and you look at those old highlights when he was at his at his best just to go from a start make a play get back to position like he could i mean he was the first to do it okay. who's number one mario lemieux i think if there's one guy that you can put together an extended man i was asking in the comments if mario lemieux had not been going through all that he has been going through the, the the cancer and the back surgery and all of the injuries i thought he would have broken gretzky's core 
good his uh his thing his record man lumia when i watch lumia lumia is amazing bro i know that he's he's the goat he's done all of those he, he is Lionel messi yep there is nothing to say over there but mario lumia look at saying same bonga real of of just magnificent goals it's mario lumia mario was a lot like michael jordan he, michael jordan wanted the ball mario lumia wanted the puck and when you got in the puck he made special things wow. out Yo, Mario Lemieux, man. This guy. He was so skilled. I knew skilled players that marveled at him. Wow. Big guy, strong, quick release. Um, had a great shot. He, you know, yeah, probably the most skilled guy I've ever seen or played with or against. Wow. He scores! Mario Lemieux! He had his two moves. Give him the top log, he's gonna put it there and he's gonna put it right. He's gonna put it right where he should, or he's gonna bring it over here. He's, he's one on one, he was no question, he's the toughest guy to defend. Uh -huh. He was the first sort of big man um, to be able to uh, combine that reach and size with a uh, finesse that a guy who's only six feet tall could have. In his I'm so glad he's number he one. He just had all the skills in the world. And then to boot, he was six foot six and strong as an ox. <laughs> Mario and I were really similar, um, probably more <clears throat> similar than any other player that I played with or against in my career. Not only how we handled the puck, but how we saw the ice. The difference was his reach. Look out here, he suits one. Yo. Yo. Let me do a score. Skill wise, yeah, could be the best player, best talent I ever played against. Wow. His skill was indisputable. Um, the fact that, that he had that size to go with it, I mean, you could be on his left hip trying to check him, and the puck's four feet away. Wow. Like you just can't get it. Breakaway chance for Mario Lemieux. In on goal. He shoots and scores. I just love this guy. I'm coming up the ice. I'm coming right at you. I'm going to go right through you and around you, and you can't stop me. He could really, really make you look bad one-on-one. -on -one. Mario Lemieux coming to center, trying to fool Bork, and does! Look out! Scores! I don't know what I was doing in that. That was, you know, <laughs> whenever I see that, I just turn away and or walk away because it's that was really embarrassing he put the puck in the skates of captain ray bork i don't know if he's going left or right it was it was comical it's comical to watch to play with ray every day is to know how good ray was he was so special and and that's when i talked about the ability to do something one-on-one -on -one to a person that's almost incomprehensible have you ever seen such finesse guys in the bench still i can still remember them staying on the bench it was unbelievable. He's our teammate. And all Sanderson looked at back at me and he said, that was off the chart. This video might have maybe my favorite video so far that I have seen. I mean, I say that a lot. Almost every time I watch a video, I'm like, okay, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. And then I watch another one, I'm like, this is my favorite. But what I like about this one is you have all these legends coming together and saying, yeah, this is number 10. This is number nine. And I was here thinking, okay, maybe that took his number one. But I, I have to say, I'm not really surprised that Mario Lomia is number one because, man, Mario Lomia is... The guy is amazing. And I am not at all surprised by how... It's like uh, how similar Gretzky, Gretzky is to Messi. And if you're a football fan, you know, unless you bring some nonsensical argument, Lionel Messi is the GOAT. There is nothing to say about that. And I know Gretzky is the GOAT. It's, it's, it's crazy how similar their minds is simi how how similar demands work it's crazy all right guys hope you enjoyed the video do not forget to leave a like if you did comment on what you see next and subscribe to the channel for more content and until next time peace out